Hundreds of veterans packed ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena, finding resources available to them, especially for suicide prevention. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar was there and explains how one Army veteran says help that is out there is helping him find his purpose. Alfonso Ricks is a hero for this country. Ricks is a 23-year Army veteran, including service in Kuwait during Desert Storm. Ricks fought those who were trying to take his life and harm this country. But he says he's here at Vistar Veterans Memorial Arena today after he tried to end his life. I tried to attempt suicide twice in my life, but thank God, you know, I'm still here because I'm here for a purpose. What I'm looking here is to get more information and learn more about, uh, about people that's in crisis like myself. Help is available to Ricks and so many others. Some of that help could be found at this resource fair that treated veterans with mental and physical assistance, among the other resources, financial and medical benefits, general wellness, and veterans affairs enrollment and eligibility. Catherine Sperry, who is the suicide prevention supervisor with the Department of Veterans Affairs, and Dr. George Shorter, who focuses on mental health with the North Florida and South Georgia Veterans Health System, say this assistance is not only needed, but people are seeking it. About 16.9 to 7.2 veterans that die by suicide every day in the United States. Um, we really want to focus on how many veterans' lives we're saving and having events like this, having support systems in place for our veterans, is that that's what helps save lives. Not only does this make a place where veterans can come and, and you know, interface directly with these folks who provide these services, but it provides the services an opportunity to talk to it with one another, you know, getting together in, in, you know, a real space. So you see just how many different people are at this resource fair and how many organizations are here. Just shy of 90 different organizations and those who provide resources are here at this fair. What's significant about this, organizers say, is the fact that everybody is all under one roof at one time. It was under this roof at this one time that Ricks is finding additional help that he wants right now, as he is also completing a 90-day drug, alcohol, and suicide prevention program through the VA. It helped me to find myself again, the, the man that I want to be. Come get help. The VA got programs that can help you, people that really care about you. As he says, that help can push you forward. I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, the local station. Wonderful fair there. But I'll tell you what, that Alfonso Ricks yeah. talking about his issues yeah. that are so personal and private, thanks to him yeah. for allowing people to be able to connect with that and mm. understand there's help out there. And it does make a vet, uh, difference for veterans who still are in that place. They've been defending us. They don't want to, it's just hard to talk about. So, yeah, absolutely for uh, Mr. Ricks, thank you for that. And I would direct you towards the most recent episode of This Week in Jacksonville. Sunday morning we were talking about that. You'll find that online at newsforjax.com uh, or newsforjax+. Plus. Uh, really important topic, uh, obviously, that we're sharing this month. And if you are struggling and need to talk to someone, you can call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. We've got that number uh, right there on the screen for you. Easy to remember, 988.